This is the uh, fourth time I've popped this up, or the fifth, I think. I had to do a little repair. One of the rivets had broken, so uh, instead of sending it back, I just went and got myself a little nut and bolt and repaired it. Make sure that's inside before you lift it over, then lift the back up. Lift the back up, put the locking pins in. Put that locking pin in and put that locking pin in. Just go around, make sure all the backs and sides are down. So that was quick and easy. Pop it back now, make sure it's seated around. Right? Just gonna quit sitting it, make sure that we've got a reasonably firm base. Yeah, that looks good to me. So that, how long did that take? 25, 30 seconds probably, realistically, to put it up. Okay, so I'm gonna set up uh, my little uh, scene about five meters out there. So I'm gonna pace out five meters. One, two, three, four, five. So five meters is about, about the right distance where I wanna to shoot today. Um, it's about like in line with my bag, so I'm going to get a little setup here now, pop some teasels on. Okay, so this is the setup. I've got the sun directly in front of me there, so it's, it's actually the, they're actually uh, front let the, the uh, birds. I'm just going to put a few more little, these are sunflower hearts, I'm just going to put them on there and put a very few in here, and hopefully they'll come and land in here and then they'll fly up from this side here. So this is going to be the main part of the image, and I want them coming in from this side. I'm trying to stop them coming from this side. Hopefully, after a short while, and they get confident, they'll start coming feeding out of here, then pop up and round the, uh, the teasels, and that's when we can use the Pro Capture and hopefully get some really nice Pro Capture and capture it on the Axoon um, video transmitter via the uh, iPhone recording facility and see what we can get, see if we can actually see these focus points grabbing and locking on. So let's have a look, see what we get. So just adjust that till it's something like where I want it. This tripod I've had whoa, 30 odd years now, it's an old Shogun tripod, we can grab the handle and tip the handle. So I'm now going to mount the camera on there. Okay, so today I'm trialling out the new Axoon uh, video transmitter, that's the one on top of the camera there. It's a Wi-Fi transmitter, it transmits out of the HDMI port of the camera into the transmitter and then you pick it up by Wi-Fi directly into your iPhone and you can record full HD 1080 at 60 frames a second. So I'm going to try a little bit of Pro Capture today and see if we can get that recorded. Currently, this is what my uh, OM1 is seen with the 300 f4 on it. I'm just going to come down to what the Axoon is transmitting, and this is what the Axoon is transmitting. So this is transmitting to the iPhone, so I can record it. So I'll just wait till one comes in. if I just turn my camera up and go to there and that's what I'm hoping they're going to start coming to in a few minutes when we've got that tray emptied. Okay this is the setup, there's the iPhone, that's the iPhone 6 Plus, not the best phone in the world but it works well. Um, this is the back of the um, OM1 Mark 1 screen and here we've got the um, Axum transmitter um, the cable there goes out into the body of the uh, into the camera. That cable there goes back into. I've got a charging block here, and in my charging block here, I've got one for my iPhone and one for the Axoon. I just thought I'd keep them charged while I was working with them. Okay, that's the scene. What I'm shooting from, and when I bring the camera back in on the Pocket 2, it will recorrect. Yeah, so we're just waiting now. If I just press the uh, Press the button on the, I'm oh, also working with a remote control on top of the camera, well not on top of the camera. Um, I've also got, I'm working with a wireless remote control here. This is the UPro uh, wireless control, which got plugged into the remote port. And here I've got the trigger, so I can, if I press the trigger there, you'll see it lock on to the, um, to the feeder. So as I press the button there, you'll see a circle there circling in the pro it, that's activated the pro capture so the pro capture is, is uh, buffering and it's holding uh, 10 pictures in the buffer i've got it set for and then when i carry on pressing it i'll take a further uh, i think 20 i think if i remember i think i've got 20 20. Uh, so i'll take about 30 pictures 
and that's at 50 frames a second. So if I hold a frame, uh, the shutter down for uh, one second, 60 pictures, and that's full RAW, uh, 20 megapixels full RAW. So, and this will transmit at uh, the action will transmit at 1080 um, at 60 frames a second. That's its maximum. So that I could slow it down a little bit. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So this is my setup, and I'm in my hide, I'm in my hide, and a little tripod I've got there, which I put my um, pocket on to sit at the side of it all. But at the moment, at the moment, it's gone quiet at the feeders. Um, I think they've emptied the little silver dish, so it's gonna be a while for the twig on that there's some actually um, some seeds on the uh, uh, teasel heads, and that's what I'm after. So I'm just gonna train the camera back on the teasels. So if I can train the camera back on the teasels, and we go up to the teasels, and I activate the Pro Capture, you'll see it locked on there. And I've, got it to, I've now got it to F5, uh, 3200 per second, and it's shooting at ISO 800, pretty happy with that. Um, so as I press the, um, the uh, shutter release half press, you'll see the, the background comes in focus at F5. As I let go, it goes soft again. So I've got it at F5, give me that little bit more depth, should they fly backwards or come forwards, gives me a better chance of capturing them. So that's Pro, Pro Capture 2 there, so we've got Pro Capture 2, Continuous AF, um, I've got it on three one one thousand. Sorry, I've got it on three thousand two hundred of a second f five. I've got it plus a third of a stop at the moment, and I've got this all. I preset this and put this into um, into C one. So that's my custom one setting, and that's where I've put it into there. So I've saved this in there, and I can actually go into my camera and just if I'm going to go into it and just darken it. So you'll see it going darker. And lighter, and that's about plus 30 is roughly where I think looks good. That's the back of the iPhone how it looks, and this is the back of the um, when it picks focus. This is the back of the uh, OM1. Um, so it's just wait, it's just a matter of time waiting now. So it's just just waiting now for um, to come back. So it's just a waiting game. So we'll see what we get. Okay, so for after using this Axoon Eye for a short while, would I recommend it? Well, it's very easy to use. It's so simple to set it up. It works seamlessly. It records 1080, 60 frames a second to your phone. It's got great battery life. It seems to last three to four hours. It's very, very small and it's very easy to pack. So would I recommend it? I most certainly would. It comes highly recommended from me.